Hello, Pestilence here with a grainy spare tire lock. It was invented by Raymond K. Gray and was patented on August 9, 1921. And the padlock uses a Corbin pin tumbler. That's underneath the cap there. I'm holding this thing under the light so I can try to get enough light on it so you can see. It just seems like uh, like it's getting blown out. Uh, this lock does not have the nameplate on the other side, which would have the name, you know, grainy, all that stuff, you know, all the specifications. But it does have the leather cover that goes over the chain. Uh, I have seen other uh, grainy padlocks which uh, were, well they were cleaner for one thing and they had the nameplate and a, a key but I don't recall that they had the original leather cover on it and this is in uh, pretty good condition it's dirty but outside of that uh, really good condition now let's see, I'll try to set this down Okay, now we'll move that, and there is the Corbin lock. Uh, when I've seen these locks taken apart, the Corbin lock actually looks more like um, like a lock from a door. And what happens is that uh, when you pick it, this moves down, this plate comes out. see if I can get a decent shot of the leather. There's some spots on here where the leather is split open, but all in all, it's in very good condition. I do have uh, an ad for the grainy lock from, I think it is 1922, and I'll include that in the video to uh, let you see that. Um, this lock I wanted because I've seen them in the past and there's only one other lock uh, that I actually went after and that's the uh, crank lock which uh, was used by Model T's and others and this was used to lock the uh, two um, I'm not sure exactly what they were <laughs> used for if they were used for uh, putting the car into gear um, and another stick shift kind of thing anyway it was used to lock two of them up so that uh, the car was immobile and uh, some other locks which I've seen on a, a website dedicated to antique car locks and things like that and uh, the other ones that are on that website move this out of the way is the frame 1926 and this was um, on the website as being a lock used to lock up the spare tire and I'm not exactly sure this uh, this piece must have gone into the tire somewhere maybe in the wheel and then uh, then it moved down until it came into contact with this and locked it in place. Uh, there was another part that was uh, that went across here. I don't believe that it had a, a lock in it, but uh, anyway, that piece is missing. Now this does have a key, but it doesn't go with the lock. It's a master, master lock key. And it fits in here, and if you fiddle with it long enough, it'll open it up. Uh, another one is uh, this frame sleigh maker and this Corbin, which was patented in July 25th, 1922. And these two are also listed as being used for either on the spare tire or lug nuts and things like that. Now, these three 
uh, came with different lots of locks that I bought. Whereas I believe the crank, I actually uh, wanted that one, and I so I bought it separately. It's uh, chrome, uh, not chrome. It's uh, nickel plated, I believe. And you can see where on a couple spots it's worn through. Uh, aside from that, it's in really good condition, and it uh, it uses a push key, which I do not have. So there I have uh, five different locks for antique cars. I'm not sure if I'll try to pick this one open or not. It is in pretty dirty, dirty state, but so we'll see. So, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, found this informative. Take care. Stay legal. Bye.